All right, so I ended up getting a PlayStation 5 recently, and before any of you guys start hating on me, I did get mine legitimately through the New Age Shuffle, so I didn't pay a scalper or anything like that. So one thing I didn't really like about it is the fact that it comes with white side panels. Uh, so I did find out that a company called Dbrand actually sells a set of dark plates. So I went ahead and got a set of those ordered up, and I figured I'd go ahead and make a short video showing how I'm installing them. Um, this isn't so much really a how-to, it's more of just kind of me doing it and I just happen to be recording it type of thing. So, um, as you can see, the packaging is actually pretty nice. Uh, multiple layers of uh, foam inside. Um, the panels honestly match, like from a quality and a thickness standpoint and texture, uh, almost identical to the original ones. It's just in black instead. So, um, I did also order uh, the vinyl center strip to go with it. It was Damascus Triple Black. So, I'll uh, take a crack at installing those and hope I don't screw that up. And it also comes with this little, uh, like little micro fiber style wipe for the center section. So you might end up needing to use that. Alright, so let's go ahead and work on getting this panel taken off. So I just need to lift this corner and then gently pull it back. Off pretty easy. Not sure if it'll show up very well in the video, but as you can see, the D brand one is on the right. Original Sony one here on the left. They look basically the same, honestly. Um, so, yeah, which is nice. Alright. And I guess while I got this off, I can go ahead and just stick this new one on. I might as well. Right. One down, one to go. Alright, I believe this is the same one here. Yeah. Nice. You know, honestly, these do look almost identical. Um, minus the Sony logos, of course, and the PlayStation logo on the other one. Uh, one thing I think is actually kind of funny, hopefully I can get it to show up in this video, is they put a little chunk of text right here. I don't know if that's quite showing up, but basically it says WTF and then dash U probably. I think that's kind of funny and clever. Uh, they've also got some of their own little branding all around here in the texture, their little uh, logos that dbrand uses. Uh, looks very similar to the same ones that Sony's using, um, so that's kind of interesting. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I think that looks pretty good. That matte black on there. All right, so I just wanted to show it off real quick with just the piano black center and then the black panels just on the outside. Uh, this is the cheaper of the two options between buying this version and then obviously the version that has the uh, vinyl center stripe you can get. But, you know, honestly, I think that looks pretty good as is, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the vinyl as well. All right, so I already wiped down the center here. I uh, used their little cloth head in there, get all the smudges, lint, and other things off of it the uh, best that I could. Might have to wipe it down again before I actually put the stickers on. But I wanted to try to get a good little kind of close up here of uh, the stuff I got. So this is the Damascus Triple Black finish. Uh, it's got kind of a nice, like, matte, little gloss kind of texture mixed to it. Um, I think it looks pretty good actually. So we're gonna, I guess, take a crack at this and see uh, how bad I screw this up or do it correctly. So give it another good wipe down.
technically this is a it's all three in the vinyl, so that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, we got more width on this thing. lined up here down by the buttons first. So far, so good, I think. Make sure I don't have any air bubbles or anything in here. All right, I guess let's start uh, working up this direction here. sideways on me. Peel that up a bit. We'll say one thing, uh, this isn't too terrible to put on, however, it's definitely not the easiest thing, at least for me and my terrible stickers slash vinyl applying skills. Luckily though, it doesn't take much pressure to actually get it to stick in. You can still kind of gently pull it up just a little bit if you don't quite get it right. So that's good. Make sure it's still looking good down here. I do kind of wonder though this might be easier to do before you put the side panels on, but uh, well, I think it'll be all right. I do think though if they included like a small little like felt or um, just regular like little plastic squeegee type of thing that might make this a little easier. <clears throat> Honestly you could probably just use a small credit card or something like that as well uh, if you got something that'll fit in between those pretty well. I just don't want to scuff up the finish, that's really all it is. I'm starting to get on it again. This might be easier to keep it inside here. To top off me being terrible with vinyl, I'm also not good whenever they start going around cur uh, curves either, so this is fun. Finally, uh, make some progress. 
this here. It's 100% perfect, but considering uh, I'm not exactly uh, amazing at applying vinyl and stickers, I think that uh, it turned out pretty nice. Trim around the buttons here. Let's see if I can uh, show you guys a little bit better here what we got. So it wraps down a little bit there at the bottom, then you come up and around here, up on the top, and there it is, and then you get a little bit of a wrap around right about there at the back to kind of ends. So um, if you guys end up doing this at home, I do recommend being very careful around this little bit of a curve here, and then right down here around the buttons because that's kind of a uh, little bit of an awkward spot. I didn't quite get it right. It's off just a little bit there and a little bit here, but honestly, where it's actually gonna be sitting, I don't think you may really notice and I think it's all right. It's not off much. So um, I guess the only thing I have left is this bottom piece now, which might be easier to do with this upside down. I'm not sure. Looks like I'm gonna have to wipe that down a little bit though before I start that. All right, so I got the bottom wiped off, and uh, I guess we're gonna take a, another crack at trying to put this bottom on here. So I'll probably just peel this entire thing off, honestly. This might be easier. And I think to keep it centered, I'm probably gonna use the little spot on the bottom here. A little circle. First time I get it centered, I've been sticking my fingers. I almost feel like this vinyl is just not white right here for the bottom. Like it's not really blocking anything, but we got it pretty much perfectly centered over the, uh, the hole in the middle and it's just like a touch off around the exhaust vents or heat vents or whatever these things are down here. Take another shot at this. Yeah, 
just doesn't quite line up down here or my shoddy skills of installing this stuff are coming into play as well. can't quite get it centered here. That's my problem. Hopefully if any of you guys end up doing this yourself, you don't run into these same issues. I don't know how many times I'm going to peel this off before I can't do this anymore. side of the vents lined up and the other side's like just not quite right. Although I think this attempt might have been a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I think I got it. Only took, uh, what do we have, try number four, I think. Honestly, I might pop these side covers off and then try to run my finger around the edges a little bit better. So that way I make sure this has got a good seal. I don't want it peeling off later. That would kind of suck. Alright, go ahead and show you guys the bottom, or at least the best I could do here for the bottom of it. So, looks like we got that there. Uh, my only real complaint here, and like I said, this is probably just me being terrible at vinyl, is like right about here is not quite right. And then, uh, but I mean, the rest of it's not too bad though. You know, lined up. There's just like a little bit of a gap right here, but I think that's just because there's actually a seam there in the plastic more than anything. But otherwise, um, I think it actually looks pretty good. And you wrap around to the side and it kind of just stops there with a piano black finish kind of ends. So. Um, I think it looks pretty good, honestly. All right, and here's the finished product. Went ahead and uh, wiped down the, all the little smudges and stuff that I had on it. Although, you know, me moving it around, I was going to put more smudges on it. So, you know, it doesn't really matter too much, I suppose. But, you know, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's basically just black on black on black. And then, you know... I don't have tons of lighting in here, so it's kind of hard to get it really noticeable, but so. And if you're only gonna be using it in the vertical configuration, honestly, you probably don't need to worry about putting it on the bottom um, due to space constraints of where I'm actually storing mine when I use it. Um, I actually have to lay mine on its side, so um, there's not much I can really do about that one, unfortunately, but oh well. Um, otherwise though, I mean, there it is on all of its matte black glory. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this, and hopefully those of you out there hoping to get a PlayStation 5, you're fortunate enough to be able to get your hands on one.